Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to see how we can do our Tailwind CSS setup in React.js. So let's go. I have done all the setup with creating a new uh, React.js project. So this is our React.js project and I have installed node modules. Now I will just run this project by using the command npm run dev and it will start our project in the browser. Now I will press O and enter. So it will open the project in the browser. As you can see, it is opened. Now we will go for the Tailwind CSS setup and we will go to Tailwind CSS documentation for installation. So here you can see that there are four ways to install the Tailwind CSS in our project, but I don't follow the first step because uh, the fourth step over here is a little bit confusing. That's why I follow using post CSS installation. So we will copy the command and we will paste it in the terminal. So in the first step, it is going to install Tailwind CSS, post CSS and auto prefixer. Let it get installed and it will not take too much time. And in the next step, it is going to initialize Tailwind CSS. So you can see Tailwind config uh, JS got uh, created over here and there is some code inside. Now what we will do in the st second step, that is we have to copy and paste this code in post CSS config.js, but there is no file. So we will create one post CSS dot config dot js and i will paste this code inside this file okay now let's save it and i created this uh, file because it was not present not initialized actually so in the third step we have to copy and paste this code inside tailwind config js file so i will paste and save this code and in the next step, we have to copy and paste this uh, code in our CSS file. Yeah, all about copy and pasting. So I will give some space over here and I will paste it and save it. The fifth step is to run, I mean rerun our project. So I this is already running. So I will stop it uh, by using control C and yes i have to stop it and i will paste the command and enter so it will restart our project again let's wait for reloading we got some error i guess yeah i forgot to tell you that we have to rename our post css.config.js as .cjs so i will rename it as .cjs and you have to do it like this and just press enter and now let's again rerun our project npm run dev and it will start our project in the browser again yeah it got reloaded now and you can see the changes so it's working now let's apply classes in our project because tailwind css is all about applying classes so class name is equal to flex and flex row because I want both the devs to be in a row and you can see the suggestions also and I will press enter but we cannot see any changes because we did a mistake I mean it's not a mistake but we have to do some changes here you can see there is HTML there is JS but there is JSX missing so we will do a comma and JSX and save but still I'm not able to see the changes because I did a mistake over there that is the space the space should not be there and now it's working so yeah this, that's how it works and both of the icons are in row now we will give some gap of let's say 10 and let's save it so you can see there is a gap in between both of these icons now uh, let's say you are not able to see so i will squeeze it and open it right now so let's say remove this and you can see you notice the gap 
now let's again give that gap of 10 and save it you notice that gap right now uh, let's give a width of full i mean 100 percent and let's do justify between so that both of the icons will become apart from each other yeah you can see it both uh, became apart from each other that's how justify between works so you don't uh, just uh, fear about learning i mean remembering all the classes you just go on to the document and search for whatever class you want for padding you search for padding and you will get all of that uh, class names for padding you can see there are padding for inline start left right px py ps pt pt or px and all of these classes are present over here the documentation is the best way to learn tailwind css and as more as you write code with tailwind css you will get familiar to it so there is margin space between width and height also and there are other classes of all the things that you want font style font size font family and all of it finally you have one more skill that is tailwind css so yeah and this is how it works so let's change the background color of the container over here so i have uh, created a div and I will move the closing tag to the bottom and let's just remove this one and now let's just add a class name over here class name is equals to for background we use bg and whichever color you want we have slate and then hyphen and 200 so let's see the changes yeah you can see it now let me change it to 500 it will give a different color which is this you can see the changes this is how the colors works in tailwind css and there are so many colors available in tailwind css you can see that this is how it works so yeah we have successfully done our setup of tailwind css in our react.js project so yeah, I hope you liked it and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will get back to you with another video. Until then, thanks for watching and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.